Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's February 23rd, 2022. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The head of Poland's bishops is blasting Germany's synodal way. In a 3,000 word letter published yesterday, Archbishop Stanislaw Gadecki warned these meetings between bishops and lay people should stop trying to fit in with secular culture. Let us avoid the repetition of worn out slogans and standard demands such as the abolition of celibacy, the priesthood of women, communion for the divorced, and the blessing of same-sex unions. In Scotland, a Catholic official is denouncing a law designed to cover up underage sex. A spokesman for the Scottish Catholic Church condemned the government after it told teachers and police not to tell parents when their children, as young as 13, say they're having sex. This morally bankrupt guidance entirely ignores the statutory protection given to children and should be revised immediately. Believing children are equipped to make moral judgments about how they behave sexually fundamentally undermines child protection. Colombia is legalizing abortion. A five to four ruling Monday by the Constitutional Court now requires abortions to be legal up to 24 weeks. When the ruling was announced, pro-abort feminists dressed in green celebrated in the streets. Admite la despenalización total. And Illinois County is being forced to pay $374,000 to a pro-life nurse. A state court Wednesday ordered Winnebago County in Rockford to pay the attorney's fees after nurse Sandra Rojas lost her job for refusing to provide abortion referrals. The court ruled the health department had violated her religious freedom. The health department improperly discriminated against Rojas by refusing to accommodate her objections of conscience in her existing job at the clinic. A New Orleans archdiocese is being held accountable for alleged fraud. Victims' rights group survivors of childhood sex abuse recently filed a complaint with the IRS, accusing the archdiocese of misusing millions of dollars in federal aid. Last year, the DOJ accused the archdiocese of obtaining $46 million more in government aid than it should have after Hurricane Katrina. Now victims are asking, asking the IRS to take a look. Pope Francis is appointing a new bishop in South Carolina. Yesterday, the pontiff announced Father Jacques Fabre will become the newest bishop of Charleston. He was a Haitian immigrant in the 1990s and a former missionary. He replaces Bishop Robert Guglielmone, cleared by the Vatican in 2020 of sex abuse allegations involving an eight-year-old boy in 1978, while a priest in Rockville Center, New York. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about the moral duty to speak up. God bless you.